I'm sorry I was born with this perfect bone structure. That my hair looks better done up with gel and mousse than hidden under a stupid hat with a light on it. This is episode 117 of the Photographer and Model Podcast. The one where Shauna and Ron review Steve Thompson's portfolio. Welcome to the Photographer and Model Podcast. I'm Ron Davis. And I'm Shauna Rencher. And today we are going to talk smack... That's Steve Thompson's portfolio. Now, one of the things we learned in our last portfolio review is that this could go on for freaking ever. So, yeah. we're going to try and keep it short. We're going to keep it under 15 minutes. We are garrulous. Hi there. Thanks so much for visiting my portfolio. My name is Stephen Thompson, and I appreciate you stopping by. Learn more about me in this article, Steve and Glamour Photography. I'm an experienced glamour, beauty, art, and erotica photographer, as well as an accomplished landscape and sports photographer. I am active on Model Mayhem to network with wonderful talent here and create some great images. I am currently looking for models and MUAs H's, that, uh, that want to collaborate to make some great images. I am the type of photographer that comes to the table with concepts and confidence, but often the best images evolve from the unique mesh of everyone's ideas. I do both commercial and personal art projects. My activity here is generally to promote my own personal work, but the relationships I develop here are always viable when casting for a client assignment. Please feel free to send a, a friend request or a note. Also, please let me know if you are interested in working tether, together. I don't know who tether is, but anyway. <laughs> um, I usually assume if you friend me that you like my style and might want to work together. Don't be surprised if I ask. Please take a look at my portfolio if you are contacting me to work together. I love to shoot all with all types, but take a look at my style. It's always more fun to work with someone who's into the project. I love input and collaboration, but I do try to pre-visualize my ideas and be prepared, at least as a starting point. Here are some shots of me used in the latest Think Tank photo catalog. I have a Think Tank. Um, when on a location, I typically shoot in my home studio in Westchester near LAX. Uh, I suppose I should add, not that it really matters, but so there's no surprise, I shoot from a wheelchair. And if a day goes by without my doing something related to photography, it is as though I have neglected something essential, essential to my existence, as though I had forgotten to wake up. I know that the accident of my being a photographer has made my life possible. Richard Avedon. 1970. Okay. Um, what's your thoughts, model woman? Um, I thought it was good that he was, you know, he says, hey, this is, this is what I've done. This is what I'm interested in, you know. Um, I would guess, too, from the paragraph where he says, take a look at my, take a look at my work. Mm -hmm. You know, I prefer the models to be into it, that sort of thing. Um, I'm guessing that there's some experience there with models saying, well, that's not what I thought it would be, or yeah. or whatever. Um, I guess maybe I would suggest maybe being a little bit more concise with what exactly he wants. But mm -hmm. otherwise, you know, very friendly, and this is what I do, and kind of what I'm about, so. Yeah, and I thought it was good that um, he, he uh, you know, kind of said he does personal and commercial stuff, gives kind right. of a view of who he is and what he does. This is actually an article on a different website, not his own. Um, I went and looked at it earlier, so that kind of gives him a credit, you know, there, and so does this as well. Right, and I think it would be, um, you know, obviously something that would stand out for a model is the fact that he says, the relationships I develop here are always valuable when casting for a client assignment. Because he's basically saying, if I shoot with you, TF, or on some other project, then I'm going to consider you for commercial right. work. right. Which is something that I would consider if I were thinking, oh, should I, you know, should I work with this guy, that sort of thing? I would say, oh, well, then, you know, if that's how he casts his uh, paid assignments, catalogs, that sort of thing, well, then. Yeah, and you know. that's very true. I find that I, I don't really want to hire a model for a paying assignment if I haven't shot with her because you're right. not sure she's going to show and all that mm -hmm. stuff. We we went through and pre-selected some images. Uh, a lot of his images um, are nudes, and we're going to. Uh, skip that as much as possible. So YouTube doesn't hate us. So YouTube doesn't hate us. Uh, but we kind of picked representative samples of his non-nude stuff, too, that we had something to say about. And it kind of applied to other pictures that were similar. So we're just going to go through those. Okay, this was actually the first image in, in his 
portfolio. And I thought it was interesting as soon as I saw it, it had um, – it did two things to me. It was very kind of dramatic, and the lighting is dramatic, and the you know the filling of the frame is dramatic. And then the other thing that caught me was how blurred the skin was. Um, my way of doing skin stuff is if I can tell it's blurred, then that's too much blur. Uh, it has too little texture. Now, it actually has texture. You can see mm -hmm. it in there. But to me, it was just a little overpowering. Um, as we're going to talk about in some of these other images, that could be a conscious choice. You know, it could be that he wants that kind of glowy look. Going. Right. I think that's really, like you were saying, the way it fills the frame. And he's really caught her eyes in a mm -hmm. dramatic way. So that's a really good setup, I mean, for a, for a model for a headshot. You know, very dramatic, very pretty. But I do agree with you about the blurring. A little too much there. Next. Now, this is um, part of a whole series he did. He has a whole album in here called Raw Deluge. I think that was what it was mm -hmm. called. They all, all the images look kind of like this. They're all nudes. This one's actually in there without the bar. Uh, but the interesting thing to me about this, and I've seen this kind of post-production work before in a different context, uh, but in these images, it's more of a normal glamour kind of pose image, and then it has this post-production put on it. Mm -hmm. And... I get that it's supposed to be gritty and grimy and something like that, uh, but there just seems to be a kind of a dichotomy. And that could be what he's going for. You know, the, the problem the problem with art is that sometimes you're going for something and other people look at it and they're like, what the heck, you know, because right. I don't know where it is. Uh, my first thought was, and this is my question for Shauna, what do you think about being in a project where it's not worried about making you look good. Maybe even is actively trying to make you not look good. Right. Well, I mean, I think as an art project, you know, that can be really interesting. And, um, you know, I mean, it's it's definitely different from the norm. And that's, and that's what makes it fun and interesting and everything. But at the same time, it's one of those things where if it were just a standalone of you, if that's the only image that somebody saw of you, mm -hmm. you know, is it going to is it going to sell you? Probably not. Yeah, I would tell you to other people who want to do that kind of project. Right. But, um, but anyway, these images are interesting. Uh, like I said, it, I'm pretty sure that's exactly what he was going for. It's just a little strange to me. Uh, this is an example of a similar or the same kind of post-production done on what is a glamour portrait. And I don't think it adds anything to it. Right. In this case, I mean, it's not something like I would use as a headshot just because of the, what, what happens to the texture of the skin. Mm -hmm. It's another thing. It's like if you're trying to promote yourself. and you, If I were to submit this, I wouldn't submit this to a casting call. Right. You right. know what I mean? Obviously, yeah. Um, so that's one of those things where people would say, oh, well, what's going on with her skin? Maybe you know they might not think immediately that that was a post thing. Yeah. Well, I hope they would. Right. And it's pretty obviously post-produced. Um, this was interesting. This was a whole different... Um, you know, going off in a different direction from those previous images, uh, I thought it was an interesting kind of story image. You know, it has mm -hmm. a story to it. Um, what about you? What do you think? Right. I think it's really it's really creative because it makes you wonder, okay, well, what's going on there? What's the background behind that? That sort of thing. And, you know, it's just really interesting in terms of the composition. Yeah, and, stuff, and so. the depth of field being used right. to give you a three-dimensional feel there. Um, this was another one that has two things. It kind of has a, a, a post-production to it, but it also has a lighting, a very specific lighting um, idea to it. And uh, I thought it was kind of interesting and, and pretty. I thought she, it was, I don't know, I thought it was pretty um, in an interesting kind of way. Right. I actually, I really like the lighting. Mm -hmm. um, it's it's unique, and it does, you know, kind of create a sort of, sort of glow without being over-processed. Yeah. It just seems like it was a really clever lighting setup to yeah. me. There you go. Um, here's another one that was an interesting uh, concept. Uh, a, get your finger off the trigger, and B, why isn't the thing loaded? But anyway, why doesn't it have a magazine in the well? Okay, this is a Ron and Shauna thing. I don't think right. other people are... Well, actually, I know friends who would jump all over that, and I'm sure you've probably caught that from people already. Um... Other than that, this kind of looks like an image that 
you tried earlier in your creative career mm-hmm. and uh, maybe you should consider revisiting. It looks a little, I don't know, to me it looks a little thrown together. Right, especially considering some of the other photos mm-hmm. that he's got in his portfolio. This is one where I'd say, well, you can probably take this out at this yeah. point. And that's something we've seen in other portfolio reviews as well, too. Is right. People keep images around that are older, and they just need to toss them. We should just do a review. We'd say, toss this one, this one, this one, <laughs> and this one from people's portfolios. Uh, here we go with another um, headshot, another up close, very dramatic headshot. We have a more dramatic lighting here, well, more dramatic. But anyway, it's coming more from one side. You're getting more shadow to light. Mm-hmm. Uh, you actually seem to be getting some differences in uh, uh, focus from side to side too, which is I don't know. It's a very interesting um, portrait. Right. I thought it was like for a portrait, it had a lot of personality, mm-hmm. and again, you know, the lighting was just interesting. So this is one of those things where you can tell, you know, I mean, there's not like a lot of post or, mm-hmm. or something like that. Um, so this is another one, too, that if I were to see this, I would stop and look at that and say, oh, that's that's nice. That's interesting. Yeah. You know? So, yeah. And, you know, I mean, when you say, I said, too, is a portrait and not a headshot. Right. Because to me, a headshot is very specific for a very specific kind of use. Right. Commercially. Yeah. And this is a portrait and it has a very specific kind of use, too, to kind of evoke a feeling um, about the person and you know that kind of thing which is not the necessarily the feeling you're trying to go for when you're using right. it as a promotional piece although you know if you were looking for someone who did that for a film then that would work but as an actor you really don't know exactly right. what it is they're looking for and this was interesting this was we picked we he has three where they're wearing the painted on um my brain just said yeah Latex, right. and so we picked this one. I picked this one because uh, I thought uh, it would, had a dramatic pose to it, right? And very isolating, and and was an interesting use of the latex, as opposed to just having the person change color, which you know it's cool too. But um, I liked it. Right. Yeah. The pose creates. I mean, it gives that feel of movement. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's it's one of those things. It's obviously a static pose, but um, just because of the pose that she's in, there you get that feel of movement and everything. Um, it's it's really it's just kind of one of those really interesting sorts of things that makes you stop and look at it and say hmm yeah um, I'm also thinking there's a little bit of glowing going on here too uh, yeah. that I'm noticing on the side um, yeah. and this thing that bugs me when models do it which is like her hair was growing out so like here at the roots you have a different color although maybe because it looks like maybe her hair is that color everywhere but underneath I don't know I've had I had a model shoot once and she had like and then she'll oh, another yeah. color and it was like an awesome image and I'm like oh, now I could spend an hour coloring her hair yeah. which was kind of a pain in the butt so anyway those are the ones we picked from um, Stephen's portfolio and hopefully that was helpful Stephen that, uh, to get our feedback and we can talk some smack about you you, know? you can do a video portfolio review of us and talk smack about us right. like it, so. but overall good, uh, good portfolio interesting images uh, definitely has an art and commercial feel to the images that he has. Right. So. Yeah. Good eye. And, uh, you know, I would expect that, you know, you'll, you'll come up with a lot of really neat images in the future as yep. well. Yep.